What is up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B, and I just want to give a shout out to all of the sponsors of Hashtag Together FTR. The first sponsor I want to give a big shout out to today is Advanaclean of the Tri State, ran by Joel and Pam Dooley. Advanaclean of the Tri State provides essential indoor air quality services to residential and commercial customers. Things like mold removal, water damage, dryer vent cleaning, and air duct cleaning. Give them a call for a free estimate today at 606-331-5001. And that's 606-331-5001. Go ahead, if you're on Facebook, head over to their Facebook page at Advanta Clean of the Tri-State. Give them a like Be sure to share their page, send them a message, and say Taylor sent you. And if you need to go to their commercial location, you can find them at 4446 13th Street, Ashland, Kentucky. And the second sponsor today is a great friend of mine. He is seriously, hands down, top two sculptors I know personally. And his name is Wyatt Freeman, W-Y-A-T-T. F-R-E-E-M-A-N. Look him up on Facebook. He's a sculptor, painter. He can draw. And just a great person all around. You can find him on Facebook, as I said. He is somebody I am recommending today that you need to get with as soon as possible to get some commissioned art. He charges a very reasonable fee and can do pretty much anything you need and will work with you very attentively. Another sponsor for today is my boy John Cannon at Straight Outta Makeup in the Hillbilly Flea Market. Not only does he have makeup at low prices... But this man is the fire stick king. I got to give it up. He's always taking great care of me. Uh, His are guaranteed with uh, free cable, Netflix, Hulu, NFL, movies and theaters, and more. I personally have one, like I said, and it's pretty great, to be honest. Uh, Go see him and tell him I sent you. But in the meantime, go like and share his page. You can go to www.facebook.com slash straight out of makeup. Or you can just search on Facebook straight out of makeup and uh, like i said he's at the hillbilly the hillbilly flea market so the address is 227 russell road booth 45 opposite end of spectrum so when you pull in he's gonna you know you pull around you go to the other end opposite of spectrum he'll be the first booth as soon as you walk in a lot of great stuff guys go check my guy out he's killing the game uh the phone number 606 465 Eight two nine six, and the next sponsor today is David Collier. That's with Appalachian Home Care, twenty four hour handyman services. You can contact him at six zero six five eight five three zero nine one. Services include, but not limited to, electrical, plumbing, carpentry, maintenance, assembly, hydraulics. So pretty much anything you need, this guy can get you taken care of. Make sure to hit him up. And last but not least, for the sponsors of this episode, Few Apparel. Shout out to my dude nephew over there killing the game at Few Apparel. And you all can check him out on Facebook. And this dude's real awesome. He can get you all the way together with your merch. If you're, uh, you know, a rapper or if you're a band, or anything that you're chasing in your artistry, he can get you taken care of, t-shirts, hoodies, so on and so forth. So make sure to check out Few Apparel today. Let's go ahead and get this episode started. What's up everybody? You're listening to For the Record with your host, Nugs B. It's For the Record, son. Yeah. Yeah. It's for the, it's for the record. I said it's for the, it's for the record. Yeah, boy, it's for the, it's for the record. And we all are, we all together. I said we all are, we all together. This together, FTR. Yeah, boy, you know we about to let the knowledge sprout. We all together, this together, FTR. You know what we about. Yeah, boy, you know we about to let the knowledge sprout.
What's up, everybody? It's your boy Nugs B coming to you with episode 46 for the record. Hashtag together FTR. I am joined by. Oh, wow. Get down with the sickness. SYK. Uh, what up, Joe? How uh, you doing today? Living the dream. I like that. You like that? Yeah. You like that intro? I, I was thinking about. Guard. I was thinking about that one earlier. You know, I'm not that good uh, at making the sound, but I figured, you know, I'm gonna go for it. That's pretty good. I, try out for the band. It was mediocre, to be <laughs> honest. It was mediocre at best. Um, but anyways, so it's a blessed day, and we're gonna start this episode off as usual with the entertainment history. And today, on this day in 1991, Queen frontman Freddie Mercury issues a statement confirming he has AIDS and calling for help in fighting the disease. I felt it correct to keep this information private to date to protect the privacy of those around me. He writes, however, the time has come now for my friends and fans around the world to know the truth, and I hope that everyone will join uh, with my doctors and all those worldwide in the fight against the terrible disease. Mercury dies the next day. That's crazy. Real sad. Bohemian Rhapsody was super great, though, man. I actually watched that uh, a couple months ago. God, it was so good. I saw it in theaters, man, and it was definitely <clears throat> well worth it. Uh, one of the best, uh, you know, biopic movies I've seen. I think it's a, a bio, biopic, biopic. I don't know how you're supposed to say it. I've always said biopic, but I, I, I think that's probably one of my favorite ones. That... I like Ray a lot. Ray was really, really good. And Walk mm-hmm. the Line. Walk the Line was That's awesome. That's one of my with Johnny Cash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Joaquin actually, Phoenix. Yeah. You know, um, <laughs> the guy who did the Bohemian Rhapsody is doing a Michael Jackson one. Wow. I wonder who they're going to cast. I don't know. I found that out today. That is awesome, dude. Uh, I really wonder who they're going to cast now. That really has me intrigued. Wow. I can't even begin to think. Macaulay like, Culkin. Yeah. <laughs> for real. <laughs> like... I I really couldn't even begin to think. I mean, because you got to think. I mean, it depends on what part of his life you do as well. Like, do you do? I would definitely do the Jackson Five. Yeah. Okay. So and you, then like you going into have the a thriller and bad. Uh, For sure. Yeah. I mean, that's a great time of Michael Jackson. But I mean, he did a lot of great stuff after that too. You know. But like at the very end, I wouldn't want to see a video because that would like be a spit in the space. Yeah. Let's do a whole video or a yeah. whole movie about like. The ending of it, that, yeah, that his life, it would be terrible. Yeah, I don't know. That's what I'm saying. Like, are you gonna do like black Michael Jackson? You gonna do white Michael Jackson in between? You know, because he had that horrible uh, skin disease or whatever. I, I would definitely what do it. The very like he's kind of like um, the growing up and the Jackson Five and the me becoming the main person. Well, they did the movie in American Dream. I don't know if you watched that, but uh, it's about like it's like it's like six hours long or something crazy like that. But it's about like from the time he's a kid until you know he's all the way until I th- wait he's grown um, up. There's a part where it shows um, his kid being born. Maybe it's been a long time since I've watched it, and it's literally like I'm not even kidding, bro. Like I'll look it up, but I think it's like five hours long, literally. Like dancing uh, with wolves, dude. Long. It's crazy. Uh, Is that, I think I remember seeing something about it, and then like he was um, watching the news with uh, <clears throat> who's who is he married to? Not Jamie not Lee too. Preston. Uh, that's not her name. Uh, yeah. God, what is her name? It's not that. It was Elvis's daughter, right? Yeah, hundred okay. percent. That's not her name's not Jamie though. Is it? It's three hundred minutes long. So yeah, that's that's a doozy. Uh, God, what was her name, man? Now you got me, uh, I think it was Lisa Marie, maybe, or something, or, yeah, Lisa Marie Presley. I don't yeah. know where, I don't know, yeah, where, I don't know where Jamie came from. <laughs> You're fooling, bro. That was, uh, through 94 to 96 when he was, uh, That's like, married to her. I just said a basic white girl name. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Um, also, yeah, you know, uh, that movie's 300 minutes long, dude. Like I said, it's, it's a good movie, man. It's definitely worth it if you haven't watched it before, like, all the way through, Definitely a cool movie to watch. Um, you get to see a lot about how Joe Jackson was just beating his kids, like, literally all the time, uh, trying to make them just, you know, pretty much mold into what he wanted them to be to make him money in the record industry. Which uh, is, I don't, that's not really good, but at least. Horrible. Horrible. Yeah. And it's so, it's so sad, bro, because, like, Michael Jackson, like, even after, excuse me, being beaten his whole life and treated like a dog and like 
excuse me, he also said that he got a lot of those plastic surgeries because his dad always called him ugly. Joe Jackson. That's sad. And, oh, dude, horrible. Dude, he just had a, such a bizarre, just horrible, like probably a blessed life too, but just such a horrific time, man. A lot of bad stuff, a lot of weird stuff happened to him. Like, you know, and like I said, Joe Jackson just beat the crap out of all of his kids trying to make them be See, what I he didn't, could I didn't never be. I didn't know about beat. that. Oh, yeah, That's dude. That's crazy. Dude, you got to look, you got to watch this movie. Um, and, uh, and like I was getting at, it's so sad because even though he was, you know, put his kids through – you know, agony and just horrible times. Michael Jackson still was like, you know, he's still my father. I love him, you know, blah, blah, blah. He'd always give him thanks and stuff. And, like, you know, it's, like, it's hard to find that balance. Like, how hard do you push your kids? You know, like, if we didn't have Joe Jackson, we would what have we got man in the mirror? You know, it's, like, a horrible thing to think about. But, like, you know, I don't know, dude. Like, it's hard to think about I, that, and it's horrible to say. I but don't like, want to say it, but, like, Beating him was a blessing yeah, in disguise. I mean, uh, it's horrible. I know, like I said, dude, I don't even want to say it. And, like, I feel bad saying it. But at the same time, like. I feel bad for saying what I just said. It's so weird, you know. Like, if he wouldn't have been horrible towards him, would he have been the star that we all know? I mean, I, I don't know, dude. It's seriously I was watching a horrible. Super Bowl um, uh, performance mm-hmm. and, like, where he jumped up on the uh, thing and, like, um, standing ovation for, like, eight minutes straight. Oh, dude. He was well loved by so many people, and like it was so sad, man. Because you know the documentary came out or whatever. I never watched it, and I'm probably. I mean, I haven't, uh, I haven't watched it? it. No, no, no. I'm talking about the one where like it it just came out this year, uh, oh, Leaving Neverland Land or whatever it was. Like those guys coming out, like those kids coming out. They're men now testifying against him, like saying that oh. he touched him and like stuff. You know, bad stuff like I don't that. Know what you're talking about? I haven't watched. Yeah, that. I haven't watched it either. I probably won't just because like. I don't even know, man. Like, it's such a bizarre thing, and, like, he had such a weird life. Like, there's a video you can you can watch, and it's like he uh, he pretty much, like, rents out a grocery store so he can act like he's a normal person, and, like, there were, like, paid people to, like, shop and act like he was just a normal guy. For real? And, like, dude, yeah, this is 100%. You can watch this video, man. Like, and that's just one of the things. It's so bizarre and just so weird. What was... What was the reason he did it? Because he wanted to feel normal. Wow. Dude couldn't go anywhere without people just uh, yeah, literally seen, like, acting crazy, you know, like l- of, of love, you know, and hate. They would like storm the bus, dude. And, like cry. This guy, he literally never had a normal day in his life, pretty much, besides the days he paid for. And that's what I'm saying. Like that's one of the things he, you know, like I said, he actually. I guess rented out the grocery store or whatever the story was, but he was in there. There were people paid to just act like he was a normal guy. <laughs> He's like frolicking and like skipping through the grocery store, like getting groceries and like, dude, it's weird. Can you imagine being that popular? Oh, dude, I mean, I couldn't even fathom the yeah. reactions you get, the scrutiny you have to deal with. Like, dude, you're dealing with a whole different beast. You can't be trained to deal with that. How do you yeah. get trained to deal with that? Like, Here, deal with people hating you, wanting to kill you, You, calling you racial slurs, and also, on the other side of the spectrum, people wanting to die for you because they love you so much. You can't train (laughs) a guy to do that. You can't, like, put a guy through the academy, like, here, this is how you'd be famous. Can't even get get his mail. That's what I'm, literally, dude, (laughs) like, you have to have, like, you know, it'd have to be the mailman would have to bring it into his gate. You I know, wouldn't even trust like, the mailman oh, at that point. Dude, it's just so crazy. He could be a paid hitman. And I, you know, I felt so bad for this guy. I felt, you know, I, f- I felt so bad for this guy because there's so many things. Not only was he just beat as a kid and, like, you know, all this other crazy stuff that happened, but he never had a normal life. And that's why people said that he wanted to be around children, which is kind of weird. But he wanted to be around children and he wanted because he never had a childhood and like it was robbed from him. So he was just a big kid. You know, that's why he had the Neverland Ranch and he would, you know, hang out with kids. And like it's just it's kind of weird. It really is weird. Like, hey, can I uh, borrow your son to go on <laughs> tour with me? Yeah, I know he's only 10, but I, I like him more than I like you. You know, like that's just weird to me. Like, how do you. How do you explain that to the parents? And the parents should be in trouble. Like, those guys, they should be in trouble, too. They should be uh, accounted for for what but, they allowed their child to go with Michael Jackson across you know the country or wherever they he, went. He probably went to the parents who were in love with him. Of course he did, and he probably paid them. It like, was like, here, uh, you know, and like I said, I, I don't know whether or not some weird stuff happened. Who knows, but... That's supposed to be like the, you know, whatever. Like, that's like his justification and why people said that he was the way he was. 
You know, he's mm. robbed of his childhood, man. And it's so sad. Like I said, I felt so bad for this guy looking back and like, <clears throat> like I said, I'm trying to put myself in his shoes and I'm like, I couldn't even imagine. Where do you start? That's what I'm saying. Couldn't even imagine people wanting to literally die for me, like wanting to just roll over and die for me because they love me so much or people hating me so much. They're trying to kill me. I think like, he has like one of the most interesting lives it's in a weird Hollywood. One. It's completely. a weird one. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's a childhood actor. Or a, a childhood star. Sorry, not an actor. A childhood star who stayed a star till he died. You know, yeah. it continued. He was in the news all the time. Dude, he owned the masters of most of the Beatles albums. He was one of the richest people that we know. He was, uh, you know, if not a billionaire already, was on his way to a, bil- a billion dollars, yeah. if not multiple billions. You know, he was on, you know, he owned the... The masters to a lot of the Beatles albums. Uh, he owned a big chunk of Sony. I mean, dude, this guy was serious. Why like, did he? Own, why did, yeah? Why did he own the Beatles? I don't know. It was for sale. Oh, I mean, oh, he, uh, oh, he just bought it. He bought it. Yeah, wow. yeah, straight up. Uh, to my understanding, at least, uh, because you got to think, dude. In those times, dude, the Beatles didn't even own their own music. They never really owned their own music. They were it was to the record companies, man. And back then. Nobody knew to buy your masters, like you know. And I don't know if he bought them from, uh, from, uh, oh my God, uh, what uh, Yoko is that her name? Yeah, Yoko or whatever. Oh, uh, John Lennon's wife. Yes, I don't, yeah. I don't know if he bought them from her or bought them from the record labels. What John Lennon owned at the time, maybe I'm not for sure, but I know he owned, a, he owned a lot of the masters of the Beatles albums and stuff. I actually, um, which is crucial. I was reading that. Uh, I don't know if it's true or not, mm-hmm. but um, Nir- uh, Nirvana's. Um, Kurt Cobain, mm-hmm. his wife owns all the masters to Nirvana. Courtney Love, yeah, the lady he was with. I don't know if they might have been married. You might be right. Um, I don't know how true that is. I really I don't, don't. I don't, I don't really like Nirvana. Sorry, yeah, you know? neither do I. I don't really like. Them. I went out public and said that. Oh God, the amount just, of hate that I've got on, um, like, it's like I hate. I like Nirvana. Dave Grohl. I, I like Dave oh, Grohl. Dave Grohl, he's awesome, dude. I like the Foo Fighters, and I like what Dave Grohl did afterwards. But here's my thing. And Dave, Dave Grohl's my jam. Oh, dude, he's pretty legit. Foo Fighters is legit. And, and Dave Grohl, even, I watched a couple of his interviews. This was literally, like, probably last week or the week before. And uh, he was talking about, yeah, you know, I think Howard Stern was asking him questions about if he was writing songs back when Nirvana were a band, whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and he was talking how Kurt just, excuse me, pretty much was the sole writer of everything, uh, you know, whatever. And he said that... Kurt's out of his mouth, you know, word, you know, uh, heard it from the horse's mouth that Kurt Cobain, he just wanted to write the most simple, memorable songs. And it makes perfect sense when you listen to his music yeah. because you remember it and it's simple. It's like the most simple like, song. Um, what was that? It smells it's, like Teen Spirit. Yeah. Oh, dude, super simple. Everybody knows the lyrics. Of that. course everybody knows it. And like I said, I, I don't like Nirvana. Heart shaped box. Yeah, but I respect them for what they did. You know, he did some cool stuff, you know, like he paved a way. For you know the gays, the blacks, uh, the the lames, the, His, the um, cool kids, the the everybody's, the Mexicans. He he made a name for everything that was being oppressed at the time. Yeah, the goths, the emos, you know, the, the nerds, grunge. the dweebs, dude. Every single person who was down on their luck could relate to him because he that's what he that's what he was going for. He was trying to make it very community involved, you know. I didn't like Nirvana as music, nah, not to get off topic, but some good, of the bro. things that he's done, he was uh playing MTV, they were the told unplugged. Well, the one before that. It was mm-hmm. a uh, they were doing a live performance that smells smells like Teen Spirit. Yeah. And they <laughs> were told that they were going to do backup tracks and they didn't want to do that. And so if you actually watch the Authentic. video, um um Dave Grohl is actually just going crazy spinning his uh um, Drumstick. Yeah, and then uh, <clears throat> you can hear the music in the background, and yeah. uh, he's like bo, 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 talking like that to the entire song. For real? Yeah. That's crazy. I did not even know that. Fun fact of the day, my friends. Fun fact of the day. Nirvana fact of the day. Uh, I got another fact of the day, <clears throat> entertainment history. On this day in 1976, Jerry Lee Lewis is arrested outside of Elvis Presley's Graceland Mansion after waving a pistol and demanding to see the king. We we're just talking about Lisa Marie Presley. Here's the king. Uh, fun fact of the day: I don't really like Elvis. I'm sorry. I know what? everybody. Oh, dude, I already had this conversation. You ain't nothing but a hound dog. Oh, dude, I don't, I don't think he wrote that. I really don't. I don't even think he wrote that song. Now, granted, it's another one of those where I don't like him. 
But I give I give him credit and I respect him for what he did because once again he's one of those guys where like, dude, he was like one of the first famous people, like <laughs> yeah. like real famous, like everybody TV knew black and white, dude. Everybody knew who Elvis was. So there's no transcript and there's no manual on how to be a famous person. So he kind of got the raw end of the stick and he just like <laughs> destroyed it in not a good way. I mean he he did well, but I mean like. He, you know, he messed up a lot because he was just living, dude. And, like, he didn't know – nobody knew how to be a rock star at that time. Nobody had seen people before them make mistakes. He was one, he was the first to make mistakes so everybody could learn from him. You, you know, know, like, a lot of people – like, people call him the king of rock. But, like, he, like, did every genre. Yeah, for Legit. sure. Legit. Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, I'm just eh, – eh, I'm just not a big Elvis I'm, fan. I don't know a lot of his music, but I just know him. I like a couple of his songs, you know. Like, there's for sure some songs he's done that I like, but – I don't know. Overall, I can't not, name them all. Nah, I'm gonna I name like three, if that. <laughs> uh, last thing of the day for entertainment history: on this day in 2008, 14 years after Axl Rose started working on it, the Guns N' Roses album "Chinese Democracy" is released. 2008, my friends. I love Guns N' Roses. Oh, dude, GNR is my jam. They're seriously one of my favorite bands of all time. I seriously yeah. love them, dude. Slash is awesome. Uh, love Axl Rose. He's awesome. Uh, he's awesome. He, he's legit, dude. He looks horrible now. He really does. He's a dirtbag. He's, he's aged horribly. Uh, yeah, poor guy. His music is good, but as a person, he is terrible. Is he really? Yeah. I don't know much about him, honestly. You, I really don't. <clears throat> he is a, a diva. Like, going to his shows, he would make the fans wait hours. Dude, when you're at that level, it's almost hard not to be a cocky pompous diva like I, I know like i wouldn't not i wouldn't want to be if i got to that level but you gotta think dude guns and roses were one of the biggest bands of their time you know like think about how he <clears throat> felt like uh, it goes back to that putting yourself in somebody's shoes who has that level of fame yeah he's a rock star dude he is the one of the hardest rock stars that ever lived man like it's tough to say that we i know but if be your the fans same, you know if your fans are paying and your fans and are the reason that the you're only reason he's rich. Yeah. So why would up. you make your fans wait hours? Why like would said, you be? Oh, go ahead. That, why, yeah. Why would you be a douchebag to your fans? Like that? I'm not disagreeing with what you say. I agree, and like you're mm-hmm. absolutely right. I'm just saying that who's to say we wouldn't be the same way if we got to that type of level? Yeah. There's like you know what I mean. Two you sides of the fence. And exactly, you don't know what you would do until you're put into the position. Of that type of power and that type of control of everything, man. Like I'm just saying, if I go to a GNR concert, I don't want them to stop three songs in and just leave. Or- for sure, I, dude, I agree with you. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not disagreeing <clears throat> with you by any means at all. And I want to be very clear on that. I'm just saying that from my perspective, it's kind of like you know, it's in comparison, like people who say like, oh yeah, I'd kill somebody. You know, like oh yeah, I would definitely kill somebody. It's like you don't know. You really don't know until you're put into put into the position on where you have to do it. You know, yeah. anybody can be like, "Oh yeah, I'd kill him," or "I'd I'd you know torture this person," or "I would do this," or "I would you know I would have done this." It's like you don't really know. It's yeah. kind of like what I was telling you, you know, on how people uh, when they get on talk shows or podcasts, you might think one person is going to do exceptional, and then it changes up because yeah. it's different when you're put in the position. You know, yeah, I feel what you're saying. I just feel like it's real tough, man. When you get that type of level, like I said, there's no manual to teach you how to be a rock star. You know, and there's no manual to teach you how to be a famous person. It's weird, man. We put this this weird stigma on. I think people. it's also like the drugs he was on too, so. Of course, we'll put he was, that in perspective. All, all of them, bro. All of them were drinking and, you know, I mean, doing Aussie snorted, heroin or whatever. Snorted hands off a uh, uh, car, um, sidewalk. Oh, 100%. But yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like you got to think like we it's hard to put ourselves in those shoes cuz we've never lived that lifestyle. You know, that's a tough lifestyle to live and it might, you know, that they might have been so messed up they couldn't even get out there for an hour. They probably don't even remember what happened. That's what I'm saying. Like they probably don't even remember most of those shows. It's like, what do you like, mean I spent like two sh- hours letting them wait? Exactly, bro. They might not even know because they were so out of their head. You know, like that's a big possibility, man, yeah. for sure. Uh, I got some quotes for you all today. Uh, Spring is nature's way of saying let's party. That was by our boy Robin Williams. Thought that was a really, really Rest cool. In peace. Yeah, R.I.P. to him. Oh. Uh, not to cut you Go off, ahead, but man. another um, entertainment, inter- well, entertainment history. Yeah, yeah. JFK. Oh yeah, that's technically well. 
when this comes out, it'll be like a day or two behind. That's why I didn't say it because it's oh. like a day or two behind, depending on uh, you know when it's uploaded. But yeah, the assassination of JFK, yeah, that happened uh, like two days ago. R.I.P. Yeah, for real, man. That was a real one. <clears throat> I just wanted to shout him out. Hundred percent. I am lucky that whatever fear I have inside me, my desire to win is always stronger. And that was said by Serena Williams, one of the best athletes we've ever seen. Yeah. Straight up, dude. Uh, you never know how or when you'll have an impact or how important your example can be to someone else. And that is by Denzel Washington. I God, love him. man. Love that I just God. watched Training Remember the Day. Titans. Oh, that's a great. Oh, yeah, Disney Plus, son. Yeah. Shout out, son. I'm telling you. Uh, but Training Day. Probably my favorite Denzel or American Gangster, dude. That was I like John killer. Q too. Oh, that's so emotional, bro. I love it. Such a good drama. I excuse I me. choke up every time. Man, so sad. Uh, excuse me. Um, but no, man. Uh, American Gangster. I don't know. Have you watched it? I don't think so. Oh, dude, it's about. Uh, Which one was that one? It's about. Uh, I've seen a lot. I want to say Frank White, but it might be Frank Lucas. It's it's one of the gangsters. I don't know. Uh, Not that, I think know. it's Frank Lucas. Uh, anyway, so it's like about one of the biggest gangsters uh, who was bringing in, you know, all the dope pretty much from Asia uh, during the war. I think it was Vietnam, I believe. I don't know. It's been a minute since I've watched it, but it, it's killer though. It's got Ti, uh, Common, Denzel Washington. I think I've watched a little bit of it. Actually. Idris yeah. Elba, dude, it's sick. Let me see. Not the watch. Yeah, I think it was Frank Lucas. Oh, dude, you got to watch. Yeah, Frank Lucas. I don't know why I said Frank White. Uh, But yeah, super killer, man. Uh, Really, really good movie. Probably my favorite Denzel movie, honestly. That or Training Day. There's another movie he was in. What was it? Flight was pretty good. I don't know if you saw that. It was uh, pretty awesome. Flight. He's a uh, pilot. Drinking, he's like drinking vodka. Wasn't all the he time in the book of Eli too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was yeah. him. Yeah, hundred percent. There was an, another one where he was like, uh, he played in the Revolutionary War, and uh, um, Ferris Bueller. Oh guy. my God, Matthew Broderick. I know what you're talking about. I forgot oh that. But my we used God. to watch it like. Um, it's a good movie, bro. I'm what pretty, is that movie called? I'm pretty sure that uh, uh, Mr. Lambert played it too. Hundred percent. I don't remember the name oh, of it. He was me so young. Either, bro. That movie was so good. What was that movie called? Man. Oh, i got to find it. Man, that movie was so good. I can't remember. I, I can't believe it. Glory, bro. Glory. Glory. Yeah. Morgan Freeman. Oh, yeah. man. 1989, dude. Totally forgot about that movie. It's a great Such movie. Such a good movie, dude. God, it's so good. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. <laughs> Absolutely. He played Malcolm X, dude. He was yeah. killer in Malcolm X. I loved that. Man on Fire, dude, Denzel. Daytime, yeah, I just said Denzel, Yeah, dude, Denzel does no wrong, my friend. I don't think there's one bad movie that I've seen him. I haven't watched any. I haven't watched any that he was bad in. Uh, some people want it to happen. Some people, uh, no, some wish it would happen. Others make it happen. That was by MJ, Michael Jordan. Got some facts of the day as well, my friends. <clears throat> uh, according to Suicide Statistics, Monday is the favored day for self-destruction. So for all you people out there feeling a little blue, just make it past Monday and you should be good. Uh, the main library at Indiana University sinks over an inch every year because when it was built, engineers failed to take into account the weight of all the books that would occupy the building. I thought that was pretty weird. Just a weird little, you know, fun fact for the day. Uh, the first drive-in service station in the United States was opened by Gulf Oil Company on December 1st, 1913 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Mm. It's a long time ago, my friend. It's also cold yeah. for drive Oh, yeah, for <laughs> sure. I would have released it in the summer. For real, dude. Uh, Paul Revere rode on a horse that belonged to Deacon Larkin. So this man is a thief and fooled people to believe he was on his own horse. Fun fact, I have never rode a horse. What about you all out there? What about you? I've rode, rode two horse? elephants, not a horse. Never rode a horse in my life. I've, I mean, maybe I've I did when one. I was a kid. I've definitely touched a horse. Maybe I did when I was a child, like in a controlled environment, but definitely not like, you know, didn't. I've never been riding yeah. horses. Like, I've never yeah. been riding. You know, I kind of want to. Like, dude, it's After watching sweet. playing Red Dead Redemption, <laughs> I know this is bad, but I was like, Absolutely, I really want to ride a horse. Yeah, dude, like... uh 
Yellowstone. That's like a you know a show I'm really fond of, and they're always riding horses in it. You know, it's Montana cowboy country. You know what I mean? It's pretty legit. <laughs> Uh, for recommendations today, as usual, I got some films. Uh, Yellowstone is one of them. Uh, Peaky Blinders, for those who have not watched that, definitely check that out. Is that on Netflix? Yes, it is. Netflix original. Uh, Wu-Tang and American Saga is all the way finished now. Uh, C with uh, Jason Momoa. S-E-E, like, you know, you see. Uh, the Last Kingdom, also on Netflix. Super killer. I love it. One of my favorites. Uh, Titans, which is the live action version of Teen Titans, and The Mandalorian, which we're about to get into as well. Uh, and it's really crazy that, you know, nobody cared about Mandalorians until this show came out. Like, nobody nobody cared about Boba Fett and Jenga Fett. Like, you know, I mean, true fans did, but nobody, like, not average Joe, you know, More now everybody's jumping on the People care about this show now because of the obvious. <laughs> the. Baby Yoda? Of course, bro. When I say Baby Yoda... It's not actually Yoda. I know. And there's not actually a specific name besides the name I put the other day on the status, which is just like a fan thing made up because technically George Lucas never made a name for yeah. the species. And technically, it wasn't even just going to be Yoda. It was going to be... Uh, it was like Minch Yoda or something. Like the like the Yoda was like his last name or something. Like something weird. Yeah, I, I think it was like a lot longer, and then he something. just shortened it. Yeah, it was. It was like two names. It was something like Mitch Yoda or, or something like that, dude. I think it started with an M or whatever. But I read that, and like he he, he did, like you said, he shortened it down to just Yoda. Thank God. <laughs> um, it's like yo, so you like Mitch Yoda? <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, take that other guy. Come on now. Uh, but yeah, into the Mandalorian, man. I feel like, you know, like I talked to you about, I'm I'm a little conflicted about it, and I'm trying to look at it from not, I'm trying to look at it from just a film perspective, and like, mm-hmm. if I don't look at it as a fanboy, it's not, it's becoming good, but it's not that great if I don't look at it. It's really short. <sighs> it is, yeah, and the episodes are only like four, 35 minutes long, like yeah. that is not, I don't like that. I want an hour, son. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, but, um... The ending season, they have longer episodes. I know this one. Yeah. This third episode was a lot longer. I, I think it was only like, was like 35, a, bro. Yeah, it was only a couple minutes longer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it was like probably five or ten minutes longer. But still, man, like I, that's one thing I don't like about it. I, have, I It's like anticlimactic, man. Like it's not like there's there's no arc, I don't feel like. There's no uh, wave. I, I don't understand. I think because where it's new, they're building it. And it's it. mysterious. And also, they said that the TV shows are supposed to tie in with the movies. So you'll have to watch the TV shows to get the movies when it comes to Marvel, Star Wars. Well, they said that about Marvel, so I'm going to assume they're going to do it with Star Wars, too. You know what I mean? So, like, you know, the Captain America Winter Soldier one that's coming out, the Loki one. The Doc- Hawkeye. Wait, no, Doctor Strange just has like a movie. Has yeah, yeah, movie. He, yeah. He'll have another movie <coughs> for sure. Um, but that's what they said. They said that you're gonna have to watch the TV series to get the movies from now Which, on. I'm pretty excited. Dude, Legit. I'm pumped. I'm, I'm the real Loki pumped. series is gonna tie in with the Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, it should. Well, it honestly depends. I don't know how they're gonna play that one. It's probably like something we're never gonna expect, and we're gonna guess completely Actually, wrong. Yeah, uh, if you watch the Disney Plus, they were talking about it mm-hmm. on the extras um, on the Marvel. It's like the upcoming stuff. Yeah. Um, where Loki uh, took the uh, Tesseract in Endgame. Yeah, it's gonna start right there, going into hmm. the new uh, Doctor Strange movie. Yeah, that's pretty legit. I mean, they're definitely gonna have another Avengers movie, and like. 2021 or 2022. They're definitely going to continue MCU, obviously. They've made billions, bro. They're yeah. not going to stop now. But I'm just really curious to see how they play. I mean, obviously, you know, Sam, you know, Falcon is going to take over as Captain America, which I'm pumped about. I think that's going to be really, really awesome. Um, but I'm just curious to see how they're going to play uh, the new Avengers. Like, I don't know how they're going to play that because obviously Iron Man's gone. Cap's gone. Now you have a replacement. Black Widow's gone. Yeah, like I, I really don't. I, I don't know what's. Uh, Hawkeye's gone. Yeah, old Clint, man, he really killed it in Endgame. He really showed up. Uh, he was the star. Of, I well to a degree, yeah. <clears throat> one of the stars, yeah, because it started off with him, and then like he just went psycho. Crazy, bro. And I just watched Endgame the other night or the other morning, actually. Should I say? Uh, just for you know, for old time's sake, man, just to. Get it in there, because I've only watched it, like, twice. That might have been the third time. I haven't watched it a bunch yet, you know what oh. I mean? 
Uh, I have it on Blu-ray. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it was good though, man. And like, it's definitely in my top three of MCU movies. Uh, Tony Stark's death was remarkable. I mean, it was the way it needed to be. I loved it, man. Um, but the thing is, you know, back to Hawkeye or whatever, he's kind of like the weakest Avenger. But at the same time, I like how they played him in Endgame. You know, he yeah. was kind of, like, I, like we're talking about, he's kind of the star, which was really cool. Because uh, he wasn't in Infinity War, neither was Ant-Man. Yeah. And, I, dude, I love Ant-Man. He is super <sighs> underrated. I love Paul Rudd. Super underrated, man. I really love Ant-Man. Uh, hopefully, I mean, his trilogy could potentially be one of the best. You know, Ant-Man 1 was good. Ant-Man the Wasp was good. 100%. I was talking about the trilogies earlier, and I totally spaced on that. I want to see what they do with the third one, man. Because Guardians of the Galaxy, that the third one, if they do the third one right of that trilogy, it'll be the best in my opinion. Is James Gunn still doing it? Yeah, supposed to be. Supposed to be. Hopefully supposed they to be doing do with the, the Adam Warlock because they like opened That would up. be really, yeah, with that, you know, uh, the uh, cameo at the end. Yeah. yeah. Dude, that would be super cool. Super cool. And maybe find out more about Star-Lord and his, you know, celestial powers and stuff like that. You, and you also got cool. Thor running with them, too. Well, I don't yeah. know, because they have another one, another th- Thor 4. Well, yeah, not only that, it would also depend on what timeline. Because if it's after Endgame, then Thor is definitely with them, and that would be that'd be awesome. Yeah, but Thor's, <laughs> Thor 4 is also after uh, Endgame, too. So is it going to be placed after that? <coughs> yeah. So it's definitely going to have Guardians in it. Yeah. For sure. Uh, but you also got Natalie Portman. Yeah, fun fact, though, man. I, I don't really like Thor. I like Thor, the character. I don't like his solo I didn't like movies. Thor. I didn't like Thor until Ragnarok. Yeah, exactly, bro. His solos. Like, his solo sucked, man. Two was garbage. I won't even watch it for free God. on Disney+. Plus. Dude, it was so bad. Uh, Ragnarok was good. I liked him in Avengers, man. I liked him in Age of Ultron. I liked him in... You know, everything he was in that wasn't his solo movies, I thought they were pretty dope, you know? But I just, oh, God. They had a, oh. They had a hard time finding what they wanted and molding like, him. Do they to want to do the, com- you know, the uh, you know, comedic relief or do they want to make him really And that powerful? works. Yeah, dude, he, he's good as comedic relief. Uh, although in the comic books, he is not like that at all, dude. He is, you know, pretty hardcore. Yeah, you know, all the way through. Because after Odin dies, he becomes Odin. He is like the god of gods after Odin dies. Yeah. So. <clears throat> Still but, couldn't. Uh, I don't. Well, he couldn't take it on Thanos, but I don't. He also uh, in a. Which <laughs> movie was it? He was talking to Odin. I think it was uh, Ragnarok. He's like, well, my um, hammer's gone. Yeah, it was at the end of Ragnarok. He's like, yeah. my hammer's gone. He's like, the power's not in your uh, hammer. It's mm-hmm. in you. And then, yeah. Yeah. Came yeah, with man. it. I mean, Thor, like I said, he's a really cool character, dude. I, I love the character. I just, I don't know, man. His solo movies just sucked. They need better writers or something, something man. Yeah. Something's got to give, dude. But Ragnarok was definitely good. I liked it. Um, definitely a hard hitter. Super awesome. You had also had Doctor Strange in the beginning of it. You had Loki yeah. in it, and you had uh, the, Hulk the Hulk in it. Yeah, Valkyrie. Valkyrie. Yeah. Uh, and it opened it up, like, it, well, it ended... Um, for the beginning of Infinity War, so mm-hmm. you have the two major uh, um, Avenger movies um, with uh, Thor leading up to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. And it was needed for sure, but it's kind of like, I don't know, man. Like Captain Marvel, I didn't really like it. Uh, I fell asleep. I fell asleep, dude. Went to the theaters, watched it, because I needed to watch it before Endgame came out. <sighs> I was bored the whole time, and I fell asleep. I was I was snoozing, dude. I, could, Def- I, I, I don't know. I couldn't get with it, man. Like, I tried. I love Samuel L. Jackson. I love him. I love him. I love Captain Marvel's character. But her solo movie sucked, man. I think her post credit scene was better than the whole movie. For real, man. I mean, (laughs) I I don't know. It just, it blew my mind that, like, they had such a big budget with that. And It was for women power. Let's just lay it on the table. I'm down with that if it would have been cool. But it was not cool. It wasn't good. I don't even think chicks liked it. Yeah, you know, like it just wasn't good to me, it was man. Whack. I did not like it. Um, back to the Mandalorian, though. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of potential, and it really could. I hope that it ties into the movie that's coming out in December, because all the episodes will be out by then. Yeah. No. You know, no. 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 Are you sure? Yeah. How long's the season? Um, because it's every. Maybe other don't Friday? come out to it's every Friday. Yeah. 
except um, I think there's like eight or nine <laughs> episodes. One episode legit comes out Wednesday. There's a reason mm. it comes out on a Wednesday. Well, that's and when then Disney Thursday. Plus started. It started on a Wednesday. It started on a Monday. You sure it wasn't Tuesday or Wednesday? That was the middle of the week. It was the beginning of the week. Hmm. Pretty sure. Could have swore it was. Uh, but anyway, one of the episodes, legit, it could wait to come out Friday, but they're pushing it to Wednesday. And that's like the day after is when the Rise of Skywalker comes out. So, so hopefully. It won't be done. Yeah, because there's a couple episodes after. Okay. Unless there's a reason they did it that way. I don't know. Yeah, the last episode comes out seven days uh, after Rise of Skywalker because it comes out 20th, right? Or yeah. 22nd? Something like that. 20th. 20th. So, yeah, you're absolutely right, dude. Uh, chapter 8 of The Mandalorian. Because, like I said, if they do that, then. Does it tell it you how could... long the minutes are? Mm, no. Ah. Uh, I can click on it and see. I don't know. Probably won't. 30 minutes. They're all going to be 30 minutes, bro. That's what it says. Yeah, pretty, pretty lame. But it happens. Uh, but anyways, yeah, you're right, dude. It comes out seven days after the Rise of Skywalker, so it'd be really cool if they tied that in, and then like at least something. Chapter eight would be like, uh, you know, the the ending or whatever. Like it ties in right there, and then that's like the the ending of. That. You know, they already uh, started production for season two. Yeah, it's already on here. That's what I was about to say. <coughs> like it's already locked in. Like they don't care. I'm like pretty pumped. Straight about up, that they're going the Obi Wan series. And I yeah, heard today, when is that supposed to be coming out? It starts filming um, next year in July. Let me see. Here. And uh, I think is John first... Favreau going to be directing or writing? Uh, no, it's um, you know that show, Mr. Robot. Yeah, of course. It's that right. <laughs> okay. And Ewan McGregor. Mr. Mi- yeah, Mr. Robot's pretty dope, dude. Rami Malek see, and uh, uh, Christian Slater. Yeah. Um, Ewan McGregor is uh, reprising his role as Obi Wan, which I'm automatically going to watch that. It says, uh... I don't know when legit it's coming out. Hopefully. It says Disney Plus uh, came out on Tuesday, November 12th. Okay. And it says... Uh, man, nothing about the Obi one stuff, though. Three days ago... I probably haven't put out a lot. Of yeah, I'm probably trying to keep it under wraps, which sucks, because I want to know when it comes out. I know it starts really? filming in July. Okay, nice. Yeah, I mean, it'll probably take them at least a year or two if they want to make it good. Says all scripts are written and filming will begin in 2020. So yeah, good call. That's legit. Yeah, man, Hugh McGregor is the man. He seriously, he's the best Obi Wan we could have ever ever asked for. We've only had two. Yeah, I know, but they're, <laughs> they're, I'm saying there's nobody else who could have been casted. Better oh yeah, than him. In my sure. opinion, in my opinion, Hugh McGregor was perfect. Perfect. Still bro. perfect. Perfect. And uh, he's. Thing- Probably okay. one of the biggest reasons I like the prequel trilogy. For sure, bro. And that, that's another thing that brings me to this Baby Yoda stuff. Uh, so we talked about it could be a clone because uh, the scientist that was wanting him to live was from uh, – he had the patch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had the patch, uh, which is from the clone planet. Um, so, dude, if, they, if that's the truth and that really is, I'll guarantee they're going to tie that into the movie. Yeah. If he's a clone of Yoda – it might be like Palpatine well, trying to get him. If it is a clone of body, if it is a clone of Yoda, so everyone can shut up about saying that's not Baby Yoda. Well, yeah. technically it is. Technically, it is. yeah, that's true, bro. And, and the thing about it is, like I said, th- that's what my cousin and I we talked about. Uh, he read a couple articles and stuff, and he was thinking that, we're, you know, Palpatine's gonna be in this movie. Mm-hmm. Maybe he's trying to like render because he's all about um, immortality. Think about it. You know, Yoda was over nine hundred years old when he died. So like, if he gets that body is a perfect specimen for him to live a very, very long time. Yeah, and then you got evil Yoda. Straight up. But I was um I well, I'll go ahead just oh, I just played the game. Um The Fallen Order just came out and I've already beat it. Nice. Like a nerd is like the campaign pretty long or is it short? Mm, <laughs> took me Did three days to, to play it completely because you have to go back and forth to each planet mm-hmm. to level up and then nice. go back to another planet to unlock new things. Nice. So it's like time consuming. Are you a Jedi the whole time? Yeah. Do you get to choose like no, you, you're a you Jedi actually, or? No, you actually start off as a uh, an undercoat. Like you're a Jedi low key. Yeah, yeah. And uh, you're forced to use the force uh, to save your friend. And okay. then like as soon as that happens, uh, the Sith Inquisitors are already on you. So you have to like from the jump, you have to Got start you. running. So, like, you are not a Jedi you get to create. You're just a guy they give you. 
right? No, you are a Jedi. Cause no, I'm saying, like, you, the Jedi you have is not somebody you create. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. guy they give you. Yeah. So it's like Force, Force Unleashed. Mm-hmm. That's pretty cool. My thing is, I would love if they would just make, like, an RPG MMO of, like, Star Wars, and you could just pick, like, who you want to be. You want to be a Stormtrooper, a Mandalorian, you want to be a, a Yoda... You know, a Jedi, a Sith, or whatever, and then you could create your dude from scratch, and then you build your attributes like like a World of Warcraft. Yeah, that's Star Wars, open world, dude. I would never leave my house. Oh, bro, that would make so <laughs> much money. There's already one on PC like that because PC gets all the cool games. But dude, imagine they did that on console. That'd I'll, be next level, man. Seriously, I would legit go to work, come home, play. <laughs> <laughs> no life at all, just straight up play Star Wars all day, every day. I mean, I used to. Play Star Wars in the park. Yeah. Fun fact of the day. Dude, that's dope. Uh, my dude, Zach Hager, he's like the leader of the academy, bro. Like, is he? Yeah, bro. Mm-hmm. They're doing – I mean, I think this is their off season or whatever because it's wintertime. But, yeah, bro, it's a uh, no uh, deal. For, um, <laughs> I think there's like – there's two – There's elite. a couple different ones. Yeah, there's one that plays under the bridge. Yep, and there's that's the him. one that plays under the park. He's not at the park. He's like over by the port uh, under the bridge or whatever. I love playing lightsabers. I don't yeah, care. Yeah, dude, I wish I had one. And like, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go. Uh, I'm definitely gonna go like check it out and stuff. And like, uh, you know, maybe borrow somebody's lightsaber at the time. Listen, being, you know. I am a beast. I am a beast, dude. Hey, talk that, talk that heat, son. Put your money where your mouth is. Uh, when they, get I back, want all the smoke. Look, when they, when they <laughs> get, when they get back on down there, bro, we will go. I'm not kidding, bro. Yeah, I'm, one I'm Friday serious. night. Let's just. Well, they, I think they do like Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. I, I think, think they do Fridays too. They might. They might. I don't, I don't know. This changes up too. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's like Tuesdays and Thursdays or something like that. I'll hit him up and ask him. Uh, but yeah, dude, anybody's welcome. You know, like I it's legit super chill. posted videos all the time of me uh, twirling my lightsabers. Yeah, these dudes. I mean, I mean these dudes are pretty. They take it pretty seriously. Uh, and I definitely want to go check it out, man. I already told him, like, I'm going to come through. Uh, it's just finding the time. You know, I'm super busy. But we'll definitely go down, and uh, I'll see if I can borrow somebody's lightsaber, and we'll duel, son. You're talking a lot of heat. So um, uh, I'm not going to talk no heat, but I, since you're talking that heat, son, you can go up against their people. You know what I mean? People who are training I'm not going to lie. I'll probably you know get I mean? my probably, butt You might get worked, baby. <laughs> you might get worked. You never know, dude. Um, But, yeah, it's super cool. Uh. I mean, you know, people might hate on it and be like, oh, yeah, you know. LARPing? Yeah, LARPing or whatever, and they're talking you know, talking heat on it. But at the same time, at least they're not out here, like, you know, shooting dope, bro, and they're not being alcoholics. When I was not, uh, you know what I mean? They're not being, you know, idiots out here ruining society. They're actually trying to be, you know, have act- their own they're fun. They're being active. That's cardio. They're involving their community. They're being nice to people. Like, it's like, dude, yeah. they take it real seriously. You know what I mean? Like, they do tournaments and stuff. Like, that's super cool. It's good for the community, man. I'd rather have people doing that for the community than people shooting up. Yeah, and, I'd rather and have people drugs. running around with lightsabers than people with uh, needles. With needles, exactly, yeah. bro. Like, you know, people need to stop hating on stuff like that because that's the stuff that will, you know, give people an out so they're not doing drugs and stuff, man, acting all stupid. Yeah, you know? and also, like, um, like, <laughs> Uh, National Lightsaber League down at the park, mm-hmm. you would have 50, 60 people. When I was Dude, a, there's mass people. Yeah, like I, there was at least 30, 40 some people from the school system itself yeah. coming down. And For like, sure. Because like, it's a Friday, there's like no football. Mm-hmm. When the football was off, yep. no one would know what to do, but you come down 7 o'clock, 7 to 11, just play lightsabers. Dude, for sure. Bro. And like, like I said, man, people are heavily involved in this. And like I said, I think it's really cool, man. And, uh, you know, I'm an advocate of people doing what they want to have fun, man, to keep them busy and be productive. Like, you know, uh, it's actually funny because Jedi is technically a religion. It's like a, it's like a, it's yeah. like a recognized religion. I've now. studied it. Well, I'm not, I, I'm not like practicing. I'm not like sensitive with the force, but you know, I, I know some things. I have a Padawan brain. I've seen, know, I've seen things. Uh, you're gonna paint my face like Darth Maul this Halloween, you know, whatever. <laughs> Um, Halloween. Yeah, every do day. it on a Thursday. This, yeah, <laughs> this Monday coming up. Check me out. Um, but no, nah, man, like I said, super cool. You guys need to check them out. Uh, super cool guy that runs it, uh, Zach Hager, really cool dude. And uh, like I said, I think they're on the off season right now because it's cold and all that stuff. But I mean, if we could find somewhere inside, I'm sure they would do it year round. You, you know, know the old food. A, you know the old food land. Yeah, I would love if they would like build something <laughs> like that, like a paintball arena. It flooded though, man. So like, I don't know how damaged it is in there, and I don't know if it would flood again. That's you, the whole thing. Hey, fighting in the swamps. <laughs> yeah, yeah, for real, Shrek, baby. Uh, no, but. Uh, 
where it's on that hill, man. Like yeah. I, I think that's why nobody's bought it. Like it's probably cheap property by now, but I feel like nobody wants to take that risk of it flooding again, and then you just that'd be an investment like down the drain. Done. Yeah, you, know, you just no wasted pun intended. all your literally you just wasted all your money, bro. Um, excuse me. So, how do you feel about the new trilogy, man? Like Force Awakens, the Last Jedi, and then you got this new one coming out. I'm very on the well. I'm biased. Because I'm a Star Wars fan. Everyone knows that. Absolutely. <clears throat> but now that I've, like, when I've watched this, like, oh, my God, this is, like, the greatest thing ever. But then when yeah. I, like, I took a step back and I watched it, I was like, man, I not hate Kathleen Kennedy. Oh, dude, not that good. Like, and, you know, also we talked about it. It's for kids, so technically it's not even for us, man. But at the same time, like, can you just not make a little bit for adults? Like, Adults are the ones who are paying for these children to go see it. Like, yeah. come on, man. Let us enjoy it, I've been too. in this fight since I was six years old. <laughs> Dude, last year, it just sucked, man. I was super disappointed. There was, uh, there was like, yeah, there was, like, scenes I liked. Yeah, of course. There was a couple scenes I but, liked. But, like, the storyline itself was trash. Oh, man. Just stupid. That general, makes no sense. Yeah, it's no... What was the movie? I can't remember. I don't think it was Last Jedi. I don't know which one it was. What was the movie where they had young Anakin as, like... A ghost or whatever sitting. It was like a, it might have been deleted scenes, maybe, or like an alternate ending of. Man, the only time he I was a ghost think. was in. Uh, ret- uh, return was it return? return? Yeah. yeah, bro. After he dies, right? Yeah. Okay. Why did they have him Hayden, as a ghost? Oh, Hayden Christensen. Why? Why? Why, 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 why? Makes no sense. It was well, like an alternate ending of Return. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Why would you do that? The you try to explain because I don't know. Okay, let me. Best way I could do it, which now that I think about it, it still don't make sense. Literally makes no sense. Because <clears throat> when he, I think the last time he was a Jedi, he was Hayden Christensen in that yes. form. But he came back when he threw Emperor Palpatine over, so he should have. The original. I get where way, you're going, and that's the only explanation I was going to think of too. Like maybe those ghosts only come back when or he was a Jedi because we've or because we. Scene one t- or two and three, we know who he is. Yeah. And it was just like a little Easter egg. Yeah, maybe. But then again, it just didn't. That's the only explanation you could really give is like yeah. only Jedis are allowed to have, you know, be the ghost. Because when you see the ghost of Obi Wan, well, yeah, it's Sith not can, young Obi Wan. Well, Sith can know. be a Force ghost too, but well, you've never, we've you've never ne- seen any. Yeah. That's yeah, the thing. Say, We've never seen any, and why would they even care at that point? Like, you know, they're dead. You're like, just come back and haunt you? Literally. Like, they have no purpose at that I don't point. care if I'm dead. I'm coming back. Yeah, like, and you know, the whole thing with Palpatine, like, how is he not dead? Like, how are they going to tie See, this hope, in? Yeah, <laughs> for this movie to make sense, I really want them to explain that real fast. Yeah, it needs to be from the jump. Yeah. That would be great. As soon as the credit goes, like... Like in the phase, reading, it would be nice. Bam, it's like awesome. Well, it'd be nice if it was in the reading, you know, like, like from the yeah. beginning. That'd be cool. But opening scene, I'm cool with that too. But no, or like, Disney. or a couple scenes after, it's like you something. Yeah, I, I you need give to know some... exactly how. And he, I'm, I'm a fan, and I cannot wait to see him. Yeah, but I want to know how he survived. Yeah, dude. And like, here's the thing with Palpatine. He's not the best swordsman. He's not the best like lightsaber wielder. But he's just powerful, you know. Like he's very that's power, what, powerful with the force. That's what me and my coworker was talking about today. Is like we were talking about. We liked him. Like oh, we liked him a lot better when mm-hmm. he didn't have his lightsaber. Yeah, he's his cloak my, on and his hands out with electricity. That's all he needs. He, he he's very powerful in the force. He's not that great of a swordsman. Uh, he was definitely getting handled by Yoda for sure. Mace Windu. Yeah, he could have killed him. Yeah, dude. If, if it would have been for Anakin, man. But that's why. You know, Palpatine was seducing Anakin because he wanted, he needed, he didn't, he he couldn't just kill him. Like I told you, with the the even even the odds type deal with the Force, with the balance, you can't, you couldn't just kill him. So he had to seduce him and make him become bad and show him all the bad sides of the Council. You know, and that's, it, dude. Technically, the Je- there are no good Jedi. They're all bad in their own ways, man. They were just trying to do the best they could yeah. with what they were given. So in those know. circumstances, Yoda, or not Yoda, but Obi Wan, he's pretty legit. He is he's a probably good, the, but he's too loyal to the council. He he won't go yeah. against the council no matter what. So he's not good. You get what I mean? Well, actually, well, he kind of goes against him a little bit. In the Clone Wars, he does have a secret lover that gets killed by Darth Maul. True, because Jedi are not supposed to have. And he was in love know. with the uh, Mandalorian, I think. But 
uh, one of the main people in Mandalore, mm-hmm. he was in love, and they were like they had a connection. And everything you had to watch that, Word. and um, Darth Maul straight up uh, picks her up and like slices her. Wow, in front of Obi Wan. So I give you that. Maybe he went against against the council for like love, but I don't think he would go against them oh, if he I'm, didn't for a belief. Yeah, you know, he like, was questioning Qui Gon too. Yeah, in, straight in up. The first one, he's like, straight up. Yeah, because Qui Gon was going with what he thought was right, not with just the council. Yeah. So I feel like you know, there none of them are golden, you know, golden children in that sense. They're not golden boys, you know, like those Jedi. The Jedi are bad in their own sense, man, and, like, they think that... Yeah, they have their own flaws. They do, exactly. And they're much better than the alternative, you know? Yeah. Like, I would much rather have the council running things than the Empire, you know? Yeah. Like, obviously. But at the same time, you got to look at it objectively and, and see that the Jedi are bad in their own ways, man, and, like, they got some stuff that's going on. Like I said, Palpatine really shed that, he, you know, he shed that light for Anakin, so he only saw the bad stuff. You yeah. know what I mean? But all in all, uh, the Mandalorian's pretty dope. Like I said, it's not bad. Uh, the trilogies, have, um, eh, there's yeah. a couple of things I want to see uh, in episode nine. That yeah, really... how do you want to see them wrap it up? You know, that's that's, that's another thing I was gonna get on. <clears throat> how do you want to see them finish things? I want Kylo Ren to be become a Jedi again, and I want uh, Emperor true. Palpatine to kill Rey. Then I want true. Kylo Ren to kill Palpatine, just because nice. I don't like Rey. Rey's too powerful. God. From Beat Kylo Ren in episode seven. I just don't understand how she is so powerful. Makes no sense. And I've read theory. I shouldn't read theories, but I uh, I do it anyway. For I sure. heard that she was a uh, bloodline to uh, Palpatine down a connection. Possibility. And that's what I was telling my coworker. I said that's the only reason I could see where her force power is doubling. Or unless here's another theory. So just hang with me on this For one. For sure. <clears throat> That um, Palpatine some way um, influenced the midi-chlorians to make yeah. another human like he did Anakin, but he yeah. made Rey. Hmm. And so he put that force into Rey. The reason that she, Rey is so, like, good, Pretty good theory. is to pull everybody in. Like, get closer to Luke, get closer to Leia. Yeah. And then get closer the whole to... whole balance thing. Yeah. yeah and so... As inevitable. Si- yeah. And so when it comes time where everyone's like, dead or like everyone's together pop out and then just end it yeah that's very possible man uh she could be influenced like you know in a episode seven or at eight where she went down to um um she felt the dark side yeah and he's like you went straight to the dark side and you didn't even try yeah i feel like they were hint- hinting at it could have been dropping an easter egg yeah straight like, up and like we hate on episode eight so much <sighs> and they could probably like just do a reverse in front of us and be like, yo, we did all this for a reason. It's true. It's probably what's going to happen, to be honest. They're like, probably going to wrap it up the way it needs to be wrapped up with that storyline. Yeah, it's like, we don't, we didn't need Snoke. Also, all yeah. you people hating, there's a reason for this, and we're just laughing at you behind the scenes. True. They probably are. I mean, they're millionaires. They don't care. But, uh, yeah, dude, it's been a blessed episode. Uh, a lot of Star Wars geek talking, you already know. The geek facts, baby. Uh, episode 46 Everybody make sure to go to www.togetherftr.com. Also, slide over to YouTube. Make sure to subscribe. And uh, thank you guys so much. I really appreciate it. You guys have a blessed night.